Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back in. So today I'm gonna to be covering what, how, how I've used the DJI Neo. So I've got a couple of videos that I'm gonna go through, just really basic stuff. One is just me testing it out in my backyard to make sure I knew how to fly it before going overseas with it. So there I cover the D, like just it lifting off, following me, and also the mic. So it has a mic function that syncs with your phone where basically the phone is your mic and it also blocks out the sound of the drone. So there's an example of that in this video. And the other one is I've recorded indoors. Yeah. I did a room tour with it. So it's like I had a cameraman following me around, which was pretty cool. So I'm covering that. And lastly, I made it follow me around one of the resorts that we visited. And also I took manual control of it to just kind of make it fly up, look around and drop it back to me. Uh, I didn't fly it too far, one, because I don't have a manual controller, um, two, it was monsoon season, so it was super windy, um, this is a very light drone, big gust of wind, I would have lost it, and I didn't have a backup of what was inside of this, because one, it doesn't have an SD card, and so you have to download everything here manually through either your computer or through your phone's app, um, and yeah, so watch the videos and I'll get back to you on my thoughts. So let's try this out. Um, it's actually quite windy and the aircraft is moving a lot as you can see in this video. The mic itself is I'm using my phone so it's like <laughs> I'm a TV reporter reporting on the news. Um you could follow this. I'm this way. That's pretty cool. And I guess what I want to hear is is it actually capturing when I'm speaking on the mic the big loud whirring sound of this show. It, it's quite loud. And it'll be really interesting to see how the app itself is able to remove that noise because it's, it's not very subtle at all. So let's try pressing the land button. I just want to see it land as well. Hey everyone, I'm going to give you a quick room tour. They're staying here at Homo Point Dalman. Can you try? Hold on. One, two. Okay, so you can turn back around. Entrance over here. What if you see by going in? Is it following? Oh, there's a toilet here. Whoa. Got some coat hangers. Put your jackets, your bags over here. Come on, drone, follow me. Let's go to the surface. <laughs> you hit a wall. Maybe if I move really fast. Oh, nice. Bugs it. Come this way. So this is the lounge room. Um, we've actually just checked out. And so all our bags are downstairs now. The room is a little more cleaner after the mess that we've made. But we've got a lounge here. Beautiful view of the ocean behind me. TV here. You can also get HDMI's and VGA so you can connect to the TV and watch whatever you want. Plug it in over here. All the power points are universal. So basically bring your power bank, all your power, your plugs and it will work. You don't have to worry about anything. There is a fridge here with a, which is the mini bar, little area to eat. Head over this way. Come on, come on, drone. Just gonna hit the wall. Keep going. Boop. All good. Come on. So this is where hang your clothes.
So as you can see, very easy to use. So for the price that you pay, you get what you get, right? You get what you paid for. Um, no fuss, no need to fumble around with a controller. Basically press a button, turn it on, press the button that will kind of choose the way it's gonna follow you around and shoot and you're good to go. Um, 4K, 30 FPS. As you can see, the content itself that it's filmed, crisp, good quality. Um, only issue is if you actually film within a, a dark room, it's gonna kind of go, go crazy and it mine just kind of flew into a wall. Uh, I don't know if I actually have that video, but if I find it one day, I will share it. Um, but yeah, the only other issue I've had with it is I wish it kind of folded up more, you know, it's still quite big for what it is. Um, and you know, it does fit in my, my Belroy sling and the way I've traveled with it is there hasn't been a storage kind of thing available for it yet. I've started to see things pop up now on Amazon and AliExpress, but what I actually used and a very lightweight solution is the box that it came in. So as you can see, I, I, I went to two countries with this, kept it in this box in my bag, in, um, in my carry-on, and it's fine and no issues, still does its job. But yeah, very trust, very handy box. So my thoughts, yes, highly recommended. Good for those who just want something quick and snappy and just want a recording to go. Um, if you want more than that, then get one of the minis or a different drone. But yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Um, comment on your thoughts. If you have any other questions, happy to answer them. I may not have been able to cover all the use cases here, but I didn't have much time to do so. So hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.